Hey there, it's Alyssa and Jesse with Peer Living for Life, and we just wanted to share with you all our first project that we did on our land. As you can see, we're sitting on this lovely deck that butts right up to our trailer. Right away, um, I'm not sure if you can see the ground or not, but it's pretty dusty around here, and we were tracking a lot of dust into our trailer, and if you've camped for any amount of time, you realize that it's not the big things that make you feel at home, it's the little things such as cleanliness, your coffee, showers, things like that. So we needed to raise our little canopy about 18 inches anyways because when we were pulling the trailer through it was rubbing on both sides so we thought that would make bringing the trailer in and out uh, a lot easier. And while we were at it we figured that we'd just build a deck as well. So maybe Jesse you can explain the deck a little bit. Yeah for sure. So yeah it just worked out that way. We were going to use earlier in one of our videos we talked about using uh, five gallon buckets full of quick crete. And uh, after having a little bit of time to think about that, we realized that it, you know, it was a solution, but maybe not the best solution. And so we did a little shopping around uh, just for some other materials. And we found that we could purchase basic construction materials for about the same price as the quickcrete in the buckets. And the thing about the basic construction materials is they're reusable. Yep. So we haven't done any really uh, heavy modification to any of those um, construction materials, so we can use them later on to build something And they're a lot else. less ghetto looking than bright orange or bright blue buckets as well. Yeah. <laughs> they don't say, let's do it, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Home Depot. Woo. Yeah. Um, anyway, yeah, so uh, we just kind of sketched out the basic footprint of the tent, which we knew from the box, but we also knew from having it on the property. And um, we did some measurements on some what's called a pier block, which is just a concrete block shaped kind of like a pyramid. And it has a bracket on the top, and that bracket is allows you to hold lumber inside the bracket. It's designed for that. So we did a little shopping, went to the local building center, and just kind of priced those out. And then we priced out some lumber, um, some treated lumber, and then some regular non-treated lumber. And I think all said and done, we probably spent around $220, $230, and basically what we ended up with was is a frame that 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 sits underneath the legs of the canopy here and all said and done I think the height was probably around 18 inches or so a little bit taller than the buckets with quickcrete um, additionally we didn't need any water to mix the concrete and we didn't end up with a bunch of five gallon buckets full of concrete so that's also a beneficial uh, so what we needed to do was we needed to lay the frame out and get it square and level so that when we put the canopy on it it wasn't sitting all wonky. Uh, so that's the first thing that we did. We, we uh, kind of used a tape measure and some surveyor stakes and some string and we kind of mapped out uh, 13 by 20 square and we got it fairly square and fairly level. And then we started setting our blocks in and then um, we set the lumber in the blocks to kind of start to create the frame but then we had to use again tape measures to measure diagonally, length, width, and continue to square up our frame because every time we moved it or wiggled it, tried to level it, it got out of square. Uh, and then we worked on leveling. We used a string level. And so what we did was we tied it to both ends and then that string tells us what level is and then we brought the rest of the frame up so that it looked nice and level. We also discovered that we're sitting on compact rock, not mm -hmm. dirt. So we had a lot of time just digging in. We had to more scrape the surface and it was a lot of work just to get the, some of the blocks leveled. Yeah, we chose probably the worst day this week to do this entire project too because it was blistering. It wasn't like a million degrees or anything, but the sun was just relentless and um, yeah, we just got a really good uh, yeah, sunburn went, that went day. went from 60 degrees to 80 with maybe a little bit of humidity because we were roasting yeah. and there were these nasty bugs. They're like two inches long just flying yeah. around trying to bite us. So. They aren't even out today. They don't even exist. But that one day there was like a bug every cubic foot of airspace. There was bugs just flying everywhere. So that made it not We didn't have a fun. soft introduction to our first project. We were just thrown in there. Heat bugs and all. So yes. I'm sure there's lots more where that came from. Yeah. So anyway we got all the frame all leveled up. We got all that done. Then we had to take the canopy. We actually moved the canopy. Uh, we wanted to move it because of the orientation for the truck. We wanted to be able to drive in a circle when we leave with the trailer to go fill it up and empty the trailer. And so we actually relocated it. So we built the frame over here, but the tent was over here. So we, in galleon effort, wiggle, 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 <laughs> wiggle, 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 we ended up moving this thing. It's pretty heavy, like what, 200, 230 pounds? 240, I think, something like so. that. Yeah, it's pretty heavy. And this little tiger, she she managed to get it. She had to deadlift, yeah. she had to deadlift her own weight practically. So 
It's pretty, pretty hard. Pretty don't don't let the video clip fool you. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty sharp. Need a it, couple really strong yeah. people, preferably three or four, to move this thing. Yeah, it took four guys to put it, or three guys at Home Depot to put it in the car, and it took the two of us yeah. to move it. So, anyway, we the, the cussing was cut out. Yeah, we, we saved you the uh, yeah. the drama on that one. <laughs> anyway, so we got it moved. We moved it over. We set it up on the frame, and that was good. So then it fit. Everything fit pretty yeah. much exactly the way it should. And sure enough, it raised it just right. Uh, but what we saw when we had the canopy over there was when we moved the canopy, kind of hugged the trailer. If we if Instead of parking in the middle, we kind of offset the trailer to one side. We had this big walking path on the one side where the door was. And we thought, well, gosh, if there's that much room over there, why don't we just put a deck? Because that'll get us up out of the dust. Uh, and then we'd have a little room for shoes and maybe a trash can, maybe a kitty ramp, cat door, things like that. So because we'd already built the frame, we already had pretty much the framework for a deck. So all we did was add a couple more pier blocks and one more beam. And then we just added the, the this very small number of components to build this little deck. And it's it's four feet by eight feet. So That's it's perfect. big enough for us to walk on. There's plenty of room behind the door. Uh, I still need to put some stair treads in and we're gonna put one step in cause it's a little bit of a, of a heave to try to get up there in one jump, especially if you got arm loads of groceries or whatever. Um, but other than that, it went together very quickly. Um, the, the way this worked out, we only had to make, I think four cuts total. I mean, all the lumber is pretty much whole. We didn't really have to modify anything. We modified one beam and yep. three two by six pieces of lumber. So. And then uh, we tackled it with the drill and got everything put together. So, so far it's working really good. I believe it's built too so that it can be extended. So if mm -hmm. we ever want to extend it to the front, you know, if we ever just really want to get elbows deep into trailer life, we can. Yeah. But even once we built our house or a barn or something, we should be able to reuse the components. So it's a pretty good investment. Yeah. Yeah, we set everything up so that the brackets are only being used halfway. So if we needed to extend this either way, that would be fine. This deck we could extend uh, all the rest of the way. Um, it's only 8 feet and the structure is 20 feet, so there's still quite a bit of space there. If we needed maybe secure storage or something. It's actually built so that if we wanted to on the other side, uh, we could build a deck over there too. We could just tie into these beams and build out that direction too. So we were talking about a hot tub. So who knows? Who knows how that might happen? But. Uh, be nice to have something like that when you're building a house because man you get sore. Yeah I think the nice thing about this setup is it is fairly versatile so if you have a slightly taller trailer um, something like this would work. Of course there's all sorts of carports that you can get custom made but this is a very affordable solution especially mm -hmm. when it's not long term. Um, so you just need to raise it the height you need, put a deck in there and you're good to go. Yeah and it just worked itself out. I mean this whole thing was kind of just a bunch of like circumstantially good things. The trailer about seven feet wide and we knew that if we put the pier blocks over here right at about four feet, when we bring the trailer in, it's really obvious where to park the trailer. You don't have to like, you know, wiggle back and forth. If you bring the trailer in and it's tight on those pier blocks, we know it's perfectly centered or perfectly where it needs to be in the in the tent. So uh, it just made life a little bit easier all the way around. Um, and there's a good chance we may throw a little more deck on there just so we have a little more storage to get things up off the dirt for a while. We'd love to plant some grass, but that's not high on the priority yeah. list. Farmer's market, that's high on the priorities yeah. list. Which is where we're headed right now. Yeah. Anyway, thanks for joining us. Um, hopefully you'll see us pounding more steaks or moving more rocks or something in the near future. <laughs>